championship no rules competition they go inside to shake hands and get this bout underway andy anderson our referee to get this under started and this ought to be a great fight both of these guys know a lot about the martial arts as ron pointed out the fourth degree black belt is there keep us free and john wilbur is a uh, a man that knows a lot about uh jeet kune do so uh, this ought to be Right away, you can see the wrestling, wrestling style of Eric coming to the forefront. He has John down on the mat. Boston, this is going to be a guy that he has to keep his uh, martial arts away from him. He wants to wrestle. Eric wants to win this bout by submission. Yep, I think so for sure. And uh, this position is very good for Eric. He's now in the front, but, but he's got a lot to him, so it's nothing serious. I think. When he comes out, he's uh, immediately in the best position. He's uh, on top of the opponent. That's exactly the place he wants to be. Is out now. You see him coming. It's, um, I think, a matter of time because he's in the front All right, that's Boss Ruten who's joining alongside Hunter Smith, along with Ron Van Fleet, five-time world kickboxing champion, nine-time United States kickboxing champion, who has also done his share of no rules fighting, Hong Kong and all over the world, his own uh, movies. He has uh, done all types of work. Your thoughts right now as you see this match in the head. This is a very interesting position. When you have people in the guard like this, it shows that the talent of the skill and the endurance and the, and the, and the talent of, of the, each opponent. I mean, Eric's really good on the floor. John is a, a tough opponent. And both of them are pretty good shape. The shot doesn't seem to be in this match. There's so much wrestling going on, so much close contact. And the crowd is more into the, the martial arts part of this competition. Yes, I think so too. But you see now also, Eric, he gets knees on the ground. It's a very good trick also, because knee hurts, uh, gives a lot of damage. It cuts an elbow, uh, of, uh, it cuts your eye. And when your eye is cut, and you start bleeding, the referee starts to fight. You will also. So it's a very smart thing to do. Keep in mind that uh, it wasn't too long ago that, that Ron, well known for his kickboxing, came out of retirement to get inside a diamond type affair along with Royce Gracie and uh, you fought at the age of 51 in a no rules competition. That is quite an experience. I mean, in order to train for something like this, you really have to put everything aside. You need to use three or four months of training and you have to cross train. What a great move by Eric Kieberstreit. Yeah, uh, trying to get John Wolver out, but now John's on top. Do you make very much of that boss? Was that a great counter move? It, it, it did a uh, really good job. I didn't expect it from him because he was a deep in the goal. So, but uh, this means he, uh, he had some grappling lessons, and uh, by the way, he moves, uh, I think, a lot because he's, uh, he's having a good guard line. Well, John has the hooks in now. This is really an important position. Yeah. When you have the hooks in, you can't be turned over. So it's really difficult to get from underneath that. Eric's really going to have to do something quick because this is a very weak position. But there's not much uh, as far as, as punches, although now John going to work on Eric's head. John going to work right now, a right, a left. 
coming right back, and Eric is turned over to help Prince protect his face from the punching of John Lowe. Oh, this is going to be done. Yes. This is right. Uh, we're, we're, we're totally wrong about that. John went for the choke hold on Eric Eberstrang. He tapped out. John Lover has won in this, the special challenge match. John Lover from Huntington Beach, California. This man said he wanted to make it as, as painful as possible for his opponent. And I think Eric feels that very much so. All right, we're back in Poland. We get ready.